So clearly you've shampooed your hair with PhD shampoo and conditioner. Mm -hmm. And then you want to towel dry your hair really well okay. and comb through it with a wide tooth comb. Take a dime or quarter size of PhD, rub it through your hands, evenly distribute it through your hair. I would definitely start with the ends first. Slowly carry it through the roots. Split your hair down the middle. Now I'm going to put your hair up in buns that you're going to sleep with. This way you didn't have to blow dry your hair. You don't have to use a curling iron. It's great for summertime. You do that side. Okay. Pull it out straight above your ear. Yep. Now twist it towards the backwards. Yep. Yep. Not too tight, not too loose. Okay. So easy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun. Just think, you only have to do two. And now twist it around. Yep. Yep. Twisting it helps create a nice beachy wave. And what the PhD does is it helps set the hair out like a styling product, but it also treats the hair like a conditioner. Creates smoothness so that you have beautiful waves. And uh, there, you're ready for bed. Cool. Yeah. Oh, good night's sleep. <laughs> oh, your hair's done. All you gotta do is the reveal. Take it out. Look, you have a little beachy, wavy hair. And that's just left all alone, natural. Voila. I'm gonna take the PhD. I'm gonna use like a dime size. Rub it in my hands. Take it, put it through the ends of your hair. It's always best to start off light. So use like a dime size. Mm -hmm. If you have thicker hair, use a little bit more. Depending on your hair, it's always nice to comb it through evenly. Don't be afraid to comb it through. That way you get even distribution of the product through your hair. Scrunch it from the ends up. Put it in the palm of your hand and squeeze it. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. And use one hand. Now do the other hand on this side. So you're evenly distributing. Mm -hmm. Now you can start using both hands. It's really easy. Yeah, it's so easy. And what's really nice about PhD is you can layer it. Look how much fullness you got. I love this. Braids are so popular right now. If you don't know how to French braid, you can just do a regular braid. It doesn't matter. Just the idea of the detail of a braid is always really fun. And don't make it too tight. Make it kind of loose and keep it kind of bohemian looking. It's modern. It looks cute with everything. And twist some pieces around so that those curls kind of fall in. You want to try and sure. split it in three. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. Oh, it's so cute. And you know, if you don't want to do a braid, you can always do the, a twist. Oh, I love it. You got a lot of curl out of it. I normally can't get it that curly. It's that PhD. It's cute, right? <laughs>